This is 2K. I have Swarly. Hello, Swarly. Hey. It's Wednesday. That's you know a... what that means. <laughs> God damn it. It's a weird day for us to be doing this. Uh, no, normally, we're, we are a Thursday TNA stream. But we, we decided we couldn't wait any longer. And we wanted to jump right in and get to some TNA action. So that's, let, uh, that's definitely the reason. Yes. And not at all because some people may or may not have had plans for tomorrow. Look, I don't know why NXT started running Thursday house shows in my market, but they did. So got to got to go. It actually worked out because I also have things tomorrow. I think I would have been home in time, but now I don't have to worry about it. All right, perfect. Yep. So we have, I believe, just finished with our pay-per-view, and we are starting a new month. Oh, good. We are building to The Rock versus Joey Janela versus MJF. Of course. Uh, that's a stacked card. I'm looking at this card here. That's a lot. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck, we hired Scott Steiner to be the mouthpiece for the shooters. <laughs> Good. Oh. They need, a, they need a mouthpiece. They need Coach Scott. Oh, no, Dean Malenko passed away. Oh, man. Oh, that's not Seagull, eh? That is a great picture. Terrible retro. They were shining the the lights right into his eyes when they took it yeah this guy too yeah we gotta get some better photographers in here yeah all right i think we should be there shortly i do like that there's a lot of these new hire people coming in hopefully we'll get the regenerates in soon so we'll get people with like terrible retro but with uh malenko's face that'll be good Great. Let me see if I even have that on. I do. Good. We know this is unrealistic because Lucha Underground is still running in 2020. Oh, man. I I can't remember the last time I even thought about Lucha Underground. Hello, Ryan. Hello. Glad to be back. It just so happened that New Legacy's uh, big stream was last week, so... I didn't even text Swarly. I think we both just understood, like, yeah, we're not going to... I had it on, like, because uh, they were doing it in the middle of the day, and I work from home now, so I just, like, had it on in the background all day. And at some point, it was like, oh, we just got to do an Asian for Let's Play T.E.W. And I was like, oh, I guess we're probably not streaming. <laughs> that would be a good... Yeah. That's a good it's... assumption. Yeah. I was watching watching some big boys. Uh... So... Also, I noticed like a lot of our people were in that chat, mm. so I don't I don't know how well our numbers would have done going up against the the juggernaut there. We should have gone head to head. Twenty four hours of TEW. Tried that once, didn't work. All, All Royal set. Rumbles. Oh no! We're booking a Royal Rumble on every show we do. Booking ten Royal Rumbles per show. Yep. All right. Uh, we, we should be doing something here. Uh, hold on. I'm going to turn. It's about to get loud in here for a second. I apologize. Then it should go back down. There we go. Okay. Just turning the fan on for a second. That was a fan? Yeah, right? That's the boot up sound for a fan. <laughs> Uh, all right, we have to set up. Let's see what happened on our pay per view. Let's start from there. The Rock did. Oh, right, Joey Janela lit his cigarette on The Rock's flaming name. Yep. God, that's so good. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say, God, he's so cool. God, he's so fucking cool. Uh, we did. Uh, it was mostly just stuff. Whoa! We're being raided with a party of eight. Oh no, I don't, I'm, I'm nervous now, Nick. Thank you, Notorious Vita. Hello, raiders. Welcome. We are booking some TW, uh, TNA. The Rock is our champion. We have an absurd amount of people we shouldn't have. 
Uh, we are we are trying to figure out where we're gonna go. I think we should just start with the Rock in the ring, huh? I think I think it's like May twenty twenty. It is in fact May twenty twenty. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, yeah, I think the Rock has to come out. Also, that means it was April twenty twenty, and we never did like a four twenty 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 joke, so we really blew it. Oh, and we have Matt Riddle. Yeah. What are we doing? I know. Shut it down. Stream's over. Save's over. I mean, he's a heel, though, so we can't be doing that. You know, that's... We can't be doing that. I you guess. Get a, you get a face pop. Uh, so... The Rock's going to come out. And I'm assuming Joey Janela's going to have to come out and book this triple threat match. After losing. No? Uh, you know, I think The Rock's going to come out. He's going to cut a promo where he's like... You know, Joey Janela, I was taking you lightly. I thought you were you were just some some wannabe jabroni phony from New Jersey, but turns out you're the real deal. You hung with the rock. I wanna shake your hand. And then Joey should just come out and just be like No, I'm not gonna shake your hand. I hate you. I don't want I don't want your pity. Are we so is Joey big mad? Is that what we're having him do? Like big he's bad. He's real upset, or is he like just annoyed? Um, on a scale of one to ten, I'd say he's like a seven. Is a seven enough to have him like put his cigarette out on the rock's outstretched hand? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, he's probably not that mad. Okay. Um. But is he mad enough to have The Rock get ambushed during this by uh, MJF? Probably. MJF and the big guy? Sure. Uh, probably is going to take more than just MJF, no? Um, yeah, send the big guy out there. All right, so for those who just joined in and don't know... Joey Janela's running Impact. Um, and he has his friends Ryback and MJF helping. And Loki. Yes. Although Loki's less a friend and more an employee. Yeah, he's, he's their, their hitman for hire. We never really explained what their relationship is with the big guy, but I mean, what is there to explain, really? He's, he's a big guy? He's a big guy. Yeah. Uh, what else do you want? That sounds like a solid eight minutes. The, I, I, the main event of our last pay-per-view was the Rock and Joey Janela. <laughs> this, this is a very weird save for people just coming in. Yeah, we, we've been playing this since 16, 2016, I think. 2017. So we started yeah. late 2017. And we have built up a company that has the Rock and Joey Janela... Uh, on the same card as, like, let's see who we got lower down. Oh, you know, Lashley, Jake Hager, Will Jason, Ospreay. Dan Barry, and Chuck Taylor. Uh, also, because this is a save from 2017, it's kind of, like, weirdly out of date now. Like, there are some kind of popular indie wrestlers and stuff that just don't exist. Because wrestling has changed really fast in the last two years. Yeah, wrestling went from, like, super stagnant for, what, six years or so? To, like, holy shit, everything's different. And, yeah. uh, unfortunately, this save reflects that. Yeah. What are, are we national? Is that our no, size? No, we are still cult. Are we? With The Rock, we are still cult. Damn. I see. Cult. We're close to national, though. We're right there. Maybe we'll get there this episode. That'd be something. Uh, all right, we should probably go to a match. Uh -huh. uh, so we are looking to, for our X division, do we have an X? Oh, yeah, Kid Lycos and Dragon Lee are having another mm -hmm. another brouhaha. Yeah, Kid Lycos just won that title, right? Sure did. Okay. I don't think we have. There's not really much of a story there other than, like, Dragon Lee's going to get his rematch. Should we just have Dragon Lee win a match then to keep him, keep him churning? Yeah, 
That's, that sounds like a good opening contest. Okay. I mean, we're, we're all, we are all marks. Like, if I were to make a mod, the Miz would be way better than he should be. And, like, I'm unabashed in saying that. So I, I understand. It's just when it's, like, flagrant, like, with that one save that I, or one mod that I downloaded that had, like, Christian as the most over person in America. It's Christian. It's, it's Christian. Uh, who's, who's the flippy do who he's going to be going up against? Um. Trevor Lee, Shane Strickland. I da 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 I mean, Trevor Lee or Shane Strickland both sound pretty good. Rocky Romero would be the other option. I'm gonna uh, uh, let's get Trevor Lee back on there. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Weird deaths, not that we've noticed. Like no one in WWE or our company. So if they were, if they happened, they happened outside of what we were paying attention to. Dean Malenko just died, but I don't know how weird that is. <laughs> That was just a normal. That wasn't like a yeah. died in a car accident type. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Randy Orton is blackballed from the business because oh, he got caught uh, with hookers. Yep. So Randy Orton's gone. Yeah. We we've uh, been checking every like two or three months. Like, can we sign Randy? No, <laughs> people are still mad. All right. So Dragon Lee wins. Steal the show. Good. They can go right. Those two. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, question. Yes. The, the fuck were we thinking when we put Eddie Edwards and Braxton Sutter? Like, how are we getting there? God, I don't know. Um, what, what were those guys doing at the pay-per-view? Big Dog and Big Bird lost the tag title match, right? Correct. And well, then, that's going to be a sentence that a lot of people in this chat are uh, going the to The Big understand, Dog right? and the Big Bird, the world-famous <laughs> TNA tag team of Braxton Sutter and Andrew Everett. I don't see what's hard to understand. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, and what was Eddie doing? Uh, kicking the shit out of Alex Shelley. Right. Nick, I have no idea what we were thinking, other than we need to give Eddie Edwards a new opponent, I think. I think that's, I think that feud's an open book. All right. Eddie's, uh, just turning into the actual TNA Eddie at this point, where he's just beating the shit out of random people. <laughs> a little bit. A little uh, bit. We need to figure this out. Okay, let's, let's do things that we know what we're doing. We know that Will Ospreay is going to feud David Starr because David Starr was the one that hired Loki to go after him, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to hire a David Starr lookalike. <laughs> we're going to have well, David no, no, Starr. No, no, no. First, first, Will Ospreay has to be backstage and like a bunch of barrels have to mysteriously fall on him or something. Yeah. Um, Shane Strickland has to be there to witness it uh -huh. so that then we can get Eddie Edwards versus Shane Strickland for no reason. Mm -hmm. All right, I like where this is going. Uh, we should we should probably do the big reveal that that David did that earlier, so we could get some good angles out of that, right? Um, what do you mean earlier? Like in the first couple of shows, like right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. You know what? Like right now, like yeah. let's let's do it. We'll do it live. All right. I think, so Will Ospreay beat Loki? I believe, I can't imagine we had him lose, but you should probably double check. <laughs> we also haven't done this in two weeks, so we're... Uh, we're yes, a little, we're he a little, did beat uh, Loki. Off our game. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Will Ospreay attacks Loki, and he gets, or maybe Loki, Loki tries to attack Will Ospreay, that probably makes more sense. Yeah. Osprey gets the better of him, turns the tables. He's got low key in a predicament, and he's like, you know, who sent you? Blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Who sent you? Who are you working for? And then, uh, as he's doing that, uh, he gets attacked from behind by David Starr, and then David Starr and Loki put the boots to Will Osprey. Got it. This is gonna be interesting. Osprey turns it around only to be attacked by Star. My goodness. Loki also continues his gimmick of a terrible hitman. 
Has he succeeded? No, because <laughs> no. no one's dead. <laughs> Not even once. Uh, I have gotten through two more days of the G1, Ryan. So you're on day two. <laughs> I think I'm on day four or five. Okay. I, oh God, I, I couldn't even tell you what the last match that I watched was, but I know I tried to watch one match four times and it kept freezing and I just got frustrated and stopped. Oh, that's the, bad. Yeah, the New Japan world was not having a fun time. Mm-hmm. So, all right, what else can we do? Do we want to do some variety? Actually, no. We have uh, women that we should do things with. Oh, I wanted to do my promo where all the Aussies hold all their belts up. Yeah, we we need that. Uh, question. Yes. Are they in the arena or are they in Australia like they were when they kidnapped ACH? I mean, it depends. Are they getting attacked or are they just cutting a promo where they're like, we're, we're the champions, we're the best. Is that all this is? I don't mind it being a we're the champions, we're the best deal. All right, it's in Australia. All right, cool. Uh, so we got CCK, which is Chris Brooks. And oh boy, oh boy, hold on. Travis, I got it. I did it. Madison Eagles. Neil. Lycos, yes? Yes. He's in the group? Yes. Okay. He's not talking. Actually, I've never seen Kid like Kid Kid Lycos talk. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> like, I just realized, I don't think, I've only seen him wrestle a couple times, but I don't think I've ever seen him, like, talk. Who who would be the leader of this gigantic Australian uh, stable? Tennille. I agree. I was going to say Tennille. Yeah. I mean, Madison Eagles would have a claim, except she's kind of been jobbed out for, like, yeah. a year. So. Although I think in this bizarro universe, the most over person is, like, Chris Brooks. Yeah, but No. Tania would be the leader. Chris Brooks might be the most over, though. Mm-hmm. Aussies hold all the belts in Australia. They're like driving around in a Jeep or something. All right. Miroslav and EC3, I think we did something with that before. Um, Miroslav yeah. hates EC3 because he's just a spoiled rich kid that everyone cheers for. But Miroslav, he's a he's a made man. He made himself. He's a self made man. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then he beat EC3 at the at the pay per view. Yeah, it kind of seems like EC3 should have won that match if we were going to keep this feud going. But what are you going to do? Maybe do we have him win by by shady means or no? I don't think so. I think Bear so. just won. I think he just won. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. All right. Do you want to have Marislav go like full Braun Strowman and just keep attacking EC three week after week, not being finished Ooh. with EC three? No, not really. Okay. Then where are we going and how are we pushing this forward? Do you want do you want to really attitude error this up? Uh, go for it. EC3 comes out dressed up as Miroslav and cuts a condescending promo where he's like, Oh, Miroslav, I am self-made man. <laughs> he's got like a big unibrow uh, brow drawn on and stuff like that. He's not wearing shoes. Yeah. That's terrible. Let's do it. All right, great. <laughs> All right. Ethan comes out. He mocks God. Or just Miroslav? Uh, Miroslav being held back? Or no? Just doesn't come out? Oh, no. He can't just not come out. That's yeah. not That's not the madman that we've been building up here. Comes out he, with the fucking spike from the, the rock match. Mm -hmm. And, like, the contingency of jobbers are trying to hold him back. No, I think Ethan just bails. <laughs> what a baby face. <laughs> Look, man, a guy's coming after you with a spike. You're going to stay in? Well, no, you're going to run. Is he three is in the middle of his mock, and then he just goes, oh, fuck, and, like, leaves. All right. Well, maybe, maybe he gets, they do hold him back or something, but then he gets into the ring, and Ethan, like, uh, like he 
goes into the bottom rope, jumps into the crowd, and then he points and laughs at Miroslav or something like that. Yeah. Like, haha, I've angered you. You've been trolled. You see three bales and laughs. Make Ethan uh, Carter yeah. into Lex Luger. What does that mean? Uh, he hit USA versus USSR feud. Oh, okay. And mainly what that means is that we have Miroslav retain the title and then have a bunch of balloons and confetti come down. Yeah, oh my god, Ethan Carter's won the match. By count out. What a huge victory. <laughs> I uh, thought we... you just, like, meant make Ethan Carter, like, have less personality. Give Ethan Carter a sick mullet. <laughs> He'd probably be into it. He'd 100% be into it. Let's be real. Also, I, wasn't he Mr. USA in his, like, developmental Something. Run? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. All right, look, we need some wrestling on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start, though, by first doing a promo that leads into a match. Oh, my. We need some wrestling, quick. Let, let, At let, an angle. I'm, it's, a, it's a quick backstage promo. We got We're going to We're going to have um, Sasha... Or excuse me, not I don't know who Sasha is. We're gonna have Mercedes and Haley. Uh, they're gonna be real down in the dumps about their loss to the Australians, their second loss in a row. No, no more rematches, all that stuff. But then their good friends, fellow anime enthusiasts, Athena and Lufisto, are gonna come into the screen and be like, "Don't worry, we will avenge you." All right. So anime is sad, but anime B team comes in to cheer them up by promising to avenge them. They're going to avenge them by beating a team that isn't the champions right now. Well, you know, they gotta, well, we're you know, getting there, yeah. They've literally never had a tag match on TV, so they they got to work their way up the ranks a little bit here. Yes. Lufisto and... I was... Kept going back to uh, Mercedes Moon for some reason because of Ember Moon and we're doing Athena. That wasn't good. All right. Women's Division heals. Uh huh. <sighs> Mia Yim and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, Team NXT. Good. That is such an old picture of Mia Yim now. Yeah, that's that's from like twenty twelve. Alright. So when we mentioned we had a bunch of people that we shouldn't have. Uh Athena, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Ash or Charlotte, Kyrie Hojo. All all their women. They released yeah. all their women. We didn't steal any of them. They just released them. Yeah. And we were like, okay. Because cool. the this was before the women's evo evolution? No, evolution? that had started. This like this was just a bad mod. In terms of that, definitely. Like the women yeah. in this mod are not great. What are the WWE women's now? Asuka and Alicia Fox. Yeah, like every show. It's not good. It's not what you want. All right. What are we going to do for a main event on this show? Uh, couple of shooters. Couple of shooters. Uh, versus... Who are the shooters fighting on this show, even? The shooters aren't on this show. I mean, Lashley is booked. Oh, well then Lashley and, and Riddle versus Shelly and someone? All right, let, let's try and... Let's try and work a couple of uh, things and maybe we could get some of these weird uh, feuds started here. So we definitely need to have Lashley and Alex Shelley on opposite sides of this tag team match. So it would probably be Lashley, Riddle. Oh, can we can we put Eddie Edwards in this for no reason? You want to do it again? Uh, sure, we can. If we don't put shooters and then we put well, Eddie Edwards Lashley... just feuded. Eddie Edwards just feuded out Shelly, so that right. kind of makes sense. So Lashley and Star Wars versus Shelly and uh, Big Dog Big Bird. Yeah, Big Dog Big Bird. I mean, I don't know if that's a main event, but it's a match we should book. Yep, we're doing it. All 
That's a main event. <sighs> Andrew Everett's in it. <laughs> yeah, but Eddie Edwards and Alex Shelley can definitely produce. Alright. As can Lashley. I mean, we can, we can consider it. We'll put this here for now. Uh, are, are we putting Braxton over Eddie to start that feud? I think so. New Japan. I think New we Japan. also have to have something in the match where, like, Lashley takes Shelly out or something. Like, uh, I don't know, he fucking puts him through a table or some shit. So, something that would cause Alex Shelly to be like, hey, what the hell? Uh, what if we it's could, what if it's we could one do the, the tried other. and true spear through the barricade? What if what what if like one of the other shooters does it, and then Shelly just goes after the shooters in general? Okay, like uh, like Desmond. Uh, yeah, Desmond. Like, I don't know. Does does a dive onto him? Sure, like that's a, cool. Like a true shooter. Like a shooter, yeah. Desmond Xavier, the realest shooter. Also, Desmond Xavier versus Alex Shelley sounds dope as fuck. Yeah. Let's, let's do that next week. All right. Uh, if not that, then what? Can, can we look at our roster? What, what's going on here? We got the Luchas. We got the Keith Lee. Keith Lee's not even on the pay-per-view, is he? Nah. All right. I, I believe... We had said that we were going to keep Keith Lee off this, but then at Slammiversary, we were going to make a new title and give it to Keith Lee. I think that's our plan. Yeah, we, we're finally doing a mid-card title, even though yeah. Keith Lee is 100% a main eventer now. It, it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a second title. It doesn't have to be a mid-card title. It's the New Japan Intercontinental title. I mean, here's the real story. The Rock won't drop our world title to anybody. We tried to have him lose to Rusev, who is, like, very clearly our second most over person, and he wouldn't do it. So the real answer, the real reason we're making a second title is so that there's a title we can do stuff with while The Rock just holds our world title hostage. This is... Does The Rock have creative control? No, we're just cowards, and yeah, we'll no. not upset The yeah. Rock. Yeah, we're just like, no, please. Okay, sure. Please don't be mad, Rock. Oh, hey, uh, Vito followed, and I said a fucking nothing because Streamlabs didn't inform me. So thank you for the follow, Vito. Uh, oh, Rocky's dead. That's right. Uh huh. He got put through a wall. Um, Chuck Taylor's a upper mid carter? Hell yeah, brother. Chuck Taylor. Hey, you want to do Chuck Taylor and Keith Lee? You want to do Chuck Taylor and Dan Barry against the Lucha Bros? Uh, do you, uh, sure. Not as a main event, but... No, no, no. Sure. I mean, we're giving the Lucha Bros that tag title match against CCK. Get them some wins rolling here. Sure. I like it. Dan Barry can take some horrible bumps and get murdered by Pentagon. Chuck Taylor is getting over despite us. We're pushing him. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking? He was he friends is... with Bobby Lashley. He has lost almost everything that he has yeah, been Yeah, but, but Dan Barry's the one that gets pinned, so <laughs> at least he's got that. I can't wait for Chuck Taylor to turn heel and just beat the shit out of Dan Barry. Yeah. Everyone turns on Dan Barry. <laughs> As they should. <laughs> all right 26 minutes probably we we need to do something with ashley and hojo yeah so ashley finally won the title i think yes I don't remember. okay she won the title back she made hojo bleed oh right it was a first blood match i forgot about that okay so ashley uh in a room with like the straight camera, like just on her face, sort of like a, a boring shot. And 
she's like delivering this like stock apology type deal like you know, we, we were set to have the first blood match and it's in the spirit of competition. And, you know, I, I, I may have gone too far and a lot of people may have sent letters into Impact Wrestling. So let's let's show what happened at the pay-per-view. And it shows like the black and white version of of the blood of course. and everything. And then when it comes back, Ashley's like got like she's removed all the fakeness and is just like, I would do it again. I would do it 10,000 times again. Look at this belt. I'm now the champion. No one's gonna stop me. Like just, just that like pure aggression type deal. And that's that's sort of it for this week. So sort of like a recap and a Ashley's the champ and she's a fucking villain she, right now. He's off. He's off a rocker. Yeah. Okay, I'm fine with this. Okay. Like that's a. I feel like that's a real fucking attitude era ass thing as well. But it's. I think it'll get over. Well, no, I mean, this is a women's feud, so if it was the Attitude Era, it would just be like, Fair, they're yeah. ripping their clothes off. Or, Attitude like, male era. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ashley's mad that Hojo stole her, her boyfriend. Hojo would never steal anyone's boyfriend. How yeah. fucking dare you? You don't know. <laughs> she is a goddamn saint. <laughs> She's a pirate! She steals a lot of things, but not boyfriends. Uh, all right. Uh, I just want to. I just okay. I just want to yes. remind you that you, Chuck Taylor and Dan Barry is currently our main event. You have not moved it. I have not moved anything. It will okay. not be I'm, angle, 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 match, match, match. match. I'm just reminding. You. Thank you. I. It okay. is a good thing, but. All right. Analysis. Keith Lee still sitting there, just staring at us. I mean, if you wanted to have Keith Lee just squash people for four weeks on TV, I would not be against it. Good. We're in agreement. Okay, great. I'm talking like four minutes. Who we got? I mean, Actually, I would. It doesn't I'd probably matter. go local. Yeah. Uh, do we have anyone who's like a good seller? I, I bet Laredo Kid Two could flop around. Yeah, but I don't. I don't like. I don't want to kill Laredo Kid Two. Eh, I think he would. He would. I be mean, fine. he could kill Bill Carr. <laughs> he could, but I don't think Bill Carr can. Oh, Christian York for some reason. Oh, oh Batista. Yeah, get in there, Dave. One night deal for Batista. He, too bad he's retired. Oh, Luke Harper. Ah, oh, former TNA superstar Luke Harper. Former tag champ, Luke Harper. Yeah. I remember the Lee boys. The Lee times. boys. Yeah. What about, what, about, what about Rob Killjoy? Who? Uh, okay. And does, does the game think he's good? Strong and strong. Yep. He's probably not over, though, I assume. Not at all. No. I mean, he's a jobber. What about Necro Butcher? He's l less over than Rob Killjoy. John Lee. Oh, JBL got fired. Good. All right. Let's get Rob Killjoy in here. This is your chance, Rob. Don't let us down. You know who I'm surprised isn't here in North Carolina? Who? Caleb Conley. Ooh, that's a good point. Because this would be... Yeah. This is a vintage Caleb Conley spot. Yes. And this is the Sunday Night Heat special. Get a local guy and then have the monster destroy them. Straight out of WWF Superstars, 1992. All right. Uh, hold on. Headphones keep hitting the mic here. Ugh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. 14 more minutes. We should probably have one more actual match. Yeah, yeah, probably. Or another angle if you want, but we don't really have any more angles that we need to do. No, we've done all, all the angles. Unless you want another rock angle on here. Nah, I don't. 
All right. Uh, we can do a women's because we we have a lot of good women who are not we do, using. We do play. have. Yes, uh, we are also. I believe we wanted to get um, Rebecca Knox ready for the next uh, big title match. So maybe just give her a win here. Possible face turn coming up as well. A possible face turn. I don't know if a uh, face uh, Rebecca Knox will, will run well. Yeah, uh, who can who can say? Yeah. Also, again, for, for those uh, joining us uh, for the first time, this uh, save is so old that this is like pre the man Becky Lynch. Yeah, bad pun. Yeah, Becky this Lynch. Is, this is pun Becky Lynch. So the superior Becky Lynch. <laughs> Ah, that that is a bold stance. I'm willing to stand on this correct hill alone. Nick loves puns, and he don't care who knows. <laughs> yep. Uh it looks like this is our main event. It, I mean, is The Rock only making one appearance? The Rock is going to be our main event in the angle. Okay. But let's let's fix up the show quickly. Yes. Uh, this is second match on the card for sure. Maybe even right away. Uh, and then... This is probably next. Then maybe the Loki Osprey thing. And then the women. That... I'm depending on the Lucha Bros to be good. I think the Flare promo is going to be amazing. Uh... Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you want for The Rock? Is he... How beat up is he? Nick, have you ever seen the movie No Holds Barred? No, I haven't. Go oh, on. All right. First of all, you should. It's an American cinema classic. Oh. Uh, there's a scene in that movie where um, Rip, the character played by Hulk Hogan, uh -huh. um, there's like some bad guys in a parking lot. And rips in, like, a van for some reason, and he, like, jumps out of the van through the roof and then beats them all up. Um, I would like to do that, but with The Rock, and then the bad guys are MJF, Joey Janela, mm -hmm. and the big guy. Are they, like, running to a car? To try no, to I'm, I'm thinking they're just, like, in the parking lot, like, hey, hey, great job tonight, guys. We sure showed The Rock. Uh, he's probably on his way to the hospital right now. And then, you know, busts out of a van, you know. I'm, it doesn't have to be through the roof of a van, but he should be in a car, and he should come out of it in a way that it breaks the car. What if an ambulance were to drive in and then it were to open and a bunch of smoke were to come out of the back of the ambulance? And then the rock could squirt them all with ketchup and mustard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you got where I was going with that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, I think the rock can, can bust out of a car and beat them with a car door. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. I mean, why are you going to have The Rock if he's not doing stupid shit like that? Yeah. The guy's a movie star. We want him doing movie star shit. All right. Storytelling match. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Knox and Storm? The story of Knox being nicer? It's either that or the story of Lefisto and Athena working together to the power of friendship. I love that. <laughs> The power of anime and God on their side. <laughs> oh, this is how have we spun a near two year storyline around this anime bullshit? Um, we're not very creative. <laughs> we we picked one thing and we're sticking with it. We are TNA. Anyone that needs to go in the pre show, Rocky Romero. Rocky Romero, yeah. Dead Rocky Romero. He comes out in a mask. Uh, he can fight ACH. That match should rule. Also, this isn't Rocky Romero. It's uh, El, El Senior Luchador or whatever the fuck. El Local. No, the, his, his thing from... Oh, did he have a thing? I did not know. Well, allegedly. I mean, who... Who, who can say that that, that old-timey luchador that looked and sounded a lot like Rocky Romero, it could have been anybody. 
it won't actually be in the game. Black Black Tiger Four, you mean? No, I don't. Oh. That's wow, Rich. Nick really outing himself here as a a fake uh, being the elite fan. I have not watched a single episode of being the elite. <laughs> oh my god! Not even a fake being the elite fan. Just not a being the elite <laughs> not fan. Being the, yeah, yeah, you're not missing much. No, I will get the ketchup and the mustard when they do it on AEW and they like go over the recap. That's that's about my investment in being the elite. Uh, all right, let's do this thing. I was right. This match ruled. Yeah, it was pretty good. It might be the second best match on the show. ACH almost did as well as Rocky Romero. We are not using either one of them. Well, Rocky's on a down cycle. ACH, we are criminally underusing. Yes. Who? Who, boy? <laughs> right. <laughs> Rock and Joey have been killing it, and I had forgotten. Oh, MJF did not come out of this looking good. I suppose MJF coming to, like, beat down The Rock might not be believable. Maybe maybe he didn't look good because it was the big guy doing the work and MJF was just standing behind him going like, yeah! Get, get him! <laughs> All right. Dragon Lee and Trevor... Oh, I didn't even realize this was a Lee battle. Oh, shit. Well, Dragon Lee is the superior Lee. And Lee Boys 2.0. It is the Lee Boys 2. Uh, yeah, not not great, but passable for us now. Almost beaten by Keith Lee and Rob Killjoy. Good job, Rob. You did it, even though you got a 30. I mean, a 30 is not terrible. For his overness? Not at all. No. We could probably do something with him if we weren't stock-filled. Yeah, I know. Him. If we Like, if this was when we first started the save, I'd be like, hey, let's sign Rob Killjoy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, bring the ugly ducklings in. Let's go. Uh, anime's doing well. Is it? For what's the uh, mid-card feud? A 58 is fine. Okay. Were you expecting better? A little bit. I mean, oh, okay. Mercedes and Haley are over. I guess Lufisto and Athena, not so much. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> Me and Shayna Baszler were uh, not great, so. I mean, neither were Athena and Lufisto. <laughs> No, well, they were in the 50s. It's okay. This went well. Mm -hmm. This went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, well, you, you didn't think an angle with Loki and Will Ospreay was going to do good? And David Starr. They actually... They, I mean, they, I would think an angle with David Starr would do good. I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, they were brawling, mostly. So, I guess that would work out for them. Yeah, I mean, the game doesn't really know that. Oh, Ozzy's talking. Did well. Yeah. Hell Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did. This is good. This is good. Now all we need to do is turn the Rock heel and make him Australian as well. And they'll have all the belts. Or we just keep him face and then his next big challenge is all the Australians. Oh, that might be what happens. Uh, this was uh, good. Oh, that's why we're turning Becky, right? Yep, sure is. Forgot to... <laughs> Yeah, it is a lot better than the 58 Osprey was getting every segment. Yeah, we're not yeah, we're not turning her yet. Hell I just won this yeah. match against Tony Storm and I've decided I'm good now. Uh EC3 and Miroslav getting a 92. <laughs> this is another thing where the game not understanding what the angle actually uh is probably works out for us. Uh, you, you can go fuck yourself. Bearslav, <laughs> Rusev coming out with a fucking spike to chase down EC3. If that was on TV tomorrow, I would go watch it. Yeah, but the first word of the promo is Ethan Carter wearing a fake unibrow going, Duh, Miroslav! Hey. I'm, I'm from Bulgaria. <laughs> yuck, if, yuck. If Miroslav comes out with a spike, I'm okay with the however it starts. Oh. I told you! Oh. Yeah. Oh, not, even, not even Dan Barry can drag this match down. Pentagon busted out the top rope styles clash too. Poor Dan. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. So this to this this picture should kind of point to what this save has become. PWG. <laughs> Alright. 
This did well. Mm -hmm. Very happy. All right. 71, C+. Plus. Serviceable main event. We've it's... certainly had better, but I'll take it. Yes. Uh, Braxton Sutter winning in the main event still gets a 71, so that's good. And he's definitely keeping up with all of these guys. Like, he's a 64 and where Shelly's a 71. Like, that is not that big of a gap. Look, Braxton Sutter used to headline shows for us. Hell yeah. MJF looked lost out there. I know that what that means, but I'd like to prefer like he actually got lost yeah. and was just wandering around. Uh, yeah, the, the Rock's good. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's a, my, my expert analysis. The Rock is good. All right. Andrew Everett was slightly overused. He was in the main event. But the show increased our popularity in 18 regions. I'll take it. Yes. I don't know who this Macy Australian is. She's never going to make it. No, I don't think so. Oh, the big show is retiring. Oh, man. He'll change his mind next week. Oh, and Michael Tarver's gone. Big Show making a very doubting face. Like, yeah, am, am I going to retire? Yeah, probably not. Okay. EC3 and the big guy have opinions. Okay. Uh, EC3, uh, Joey Janela is a great talker. And then the big guy is going to say that Rocky Romero is too small. I'm going to agree with both of them. I think okay. All right. Andrew Everett is turning into a good worker. Oh, hell yeah. Big talk. <laughs> big dog time. Here we go. And big guy. Phoenix doesn't connect with the fans. I'm pretty sure <sighs> Phoenix is more over than you are, right, back. <laughs> so you might want to go back to picking on, like, Trevor Lee. Yeah. All right, moving on. Trying to get to our next show. How's chat doing? How's it going? Uh, any questions about the save? About what we've done. About anything. Life in general. Yeah. Want like stock tips? I give you stock tips. Yeah. I've technically made money on stocks this year. Great. Very, very small. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> we really did this. All right, good. All right, they have a mouthpiece. Thank God. Just in time for him to go after Alex Shelley. So we we hired Scott Steiner because we made a group called The Shooters. That is Bobby Lashley, Matt Riddle, uh, Desmond Xavier, and Jack Swagger. And then the first time we had them cut a promo, we were like, oh, no, none of these people can talk. So now we have Scott Steiner. I'm just actually making The Shooters. Yeah, that's a good idea. So it's a Lashley... Matt Riddle, Desmond Xavier, Jack Swagger, Scott Steiner. And yes, De Desmond Xavier is in the shooters. It's a long story. <laughs> it does involve uh, a hand truck and Bobby Lashley, I believe. Yeah, yeah we've got full circle. All right. I do notice that the big guy's not on this card. So we're doing better for ourselves. I don't think he was on the last one either, was he? I, th I think the Ryback is just like... No, he was in the... the uh... No, he wasn't. Never mind. Yeah. He's just been kind of chilling on TV. He's, yeah, he's like TV fodder. Good. It's a good place for him. NXT TakeOver Chicago 5. What was the main event? And Suzuki signs for Dragon Gate. Uh, Johnny Gargano, T Tommaso Ciampa, 17. Eric Young over Trent, 7. Oh. Yeah, NXT's real weird. Enzo Amorte is the UK champion. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in New Japan, Naito beat Tenzan for the title. 
Tenzon was the champion? <laughs> no, he... Oh, he was challenging. Became, I, that's yeah, still yeah. weird. Yep. Although, uh, Yamato and Jimmy Yang had a pretty good match in the mid-card. Oh, good. Yeah. Zack Sabre Jr. and uh, oh, Big God. Cass Okada got a 99. I and mean... then Naito and Tenzon had to follow it. <laughs> yep. Look, if, if Naito could pull, like, a four-star match out of Tenzon, I'd watch it. I just, I'm not so sure that's possible right now. No. Or in 2020. Especially not in 2020. Seems like a lot of people are getting let go. Huh. Oh, Steven Performer. <laughs> it's a very on-the-nose name. From the Creator Rest a Pro Wrestler Academy. That's a real place. Yeah, but this seems like someone who would come out of there. Yeah. Oh, Art Anderson died. <laughs> wow. <laughs> huh. Do you think it's related to the Team Malenko one? Ooh. Are you going to start putting up YouTube videos with a bunch of red circles? Well, I was just thinking they were, like, in the same, like, plane crash or something. But, yeah, no, sure. No, big big tinfoil hats out. Yeah, big conspiracy. Uh, Kaito Ishida return? Kaito Ishida returns. Kaito Ishida back from excursion. The fuck is happening? Well, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, Kaito Ishida, he's back. All right, that needs to be fixed for 2020. That doesn't need three fucking things. He's back to Dragon Gate from Excursion. That, that's all that those three headlines said. Yeah, Arn died before Rick. That, hmm. No comment, but it is surprising. Oh, Hiroshi in need of a break. Oh, we signed fucking Masco Dorado. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <Cool. laughs> uh, the Fisto's contract's running out. Oh. I guess we have to resign her now, right? Yeah, give her, give her a good six months. Yeah. Here you go. Enjoy. She's 40. This, is, this might be her last, her last little run here. Although we Wait. said that last time. You said that with a lot of disdain. No, that was sadness, not disdain. Oh, she's 40. No, that Ooh. was shock. I didn't know that she was she was 40. I she thought we had, to, I thought we had been, more good years out of her. She's been around a long time. I suppose she has. I watched. I used to watch the Fisto matches in like 2004. No, it's that, more that because... 15 years ago. Oh, oh good. Paul London, JTG, and... Oh, yeah, that is JTG, right? Yeah. And Son of Havoc became the Lucha Underground Shios champions. Uh, I'm, s I'm sorry. I believe you mean Son of Havoc. Yes. It's been a while since you've gotten to bust that one out. I Yeah, I know. Well, now if I did a Melissa Santos impression, it would just be like, Oh, thanks to XX Naruto fan in the chat. <laughs> For subscribing to, to she, does, she doesn't use that voice on the, if she used that voice the that entire time yeah. I would watch all right wait a minute Mohegan Sun at Casey Plaza Mohegan Sun is there you go. maybe there's two there's probably more than one. Oh boy <laughs> I'm gonna do the Rebecca Knox one first Okay, I would have said save her for last, but whatever. Uh, the look that Chuck's giving me concerns me. <laughs> hey, she did funny cartoons. All right, Probably great. all involving puns. Chuck Taylor got a bunch of heat by making jokes on Twitter that old wrestlers didn't understand. <laughs> no, he won a video game tournament. That very accurate. I believe it. I was going to say, do we have anyone who would get mad about old jokes? But now we just signed Scott Steiner, so probably. I don't know. Scott seems cool. 
I think he would just be like, the fuck is this shit? And be done with it. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking the heels need to come out in various stages of bandages and reprimand The Rock in some way. Because you probably can't just beat your boss with a car door and get away with it. Uh, this, this sounds like a job for MJF and MJF's lawyer. Okay, good. Hello, it is me, MJF's lawyer. <laughs> no, that's that's Miroslav's lawyer. Oh, it's sorry. A completely different thing. I represent both clients. I oh, am boy. company lawyer. Oh boy, there is. I would be shocked if there is one person in chat who gets that reference. <laughs> Someone will get it. I have faith in you, chat. <laughs> y'all, y'all remember? Uh, Short-lived angles from like four years ago, right? Yeah, longer than that now, right? I don't know. It was a what? It was back. Time, back time when, is a flat circle. It was back when he was still relevant. Yeah. All right, Joey and ah, big guy doesn't need to be out there. Uh, is the Rock coming out and talking? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm James going to come out with his lawyer, him, Joey, and the lawyer are going to be like. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to take everything you're worth. How dare you do this to me? Do you know who I am? Blah, blah, blah. And The Rock's going to come out and be like, all right, calm down, buddy. Blah, blah, blah. I think basically what the gist of this promo is going to be is that they're going to come to an agreement at the end of it that MJF won't press charges. But in return, him and Joey get the title match at the pay-per-view. And we announce the quote-unquote triple threat between MJF, Joey, and The Rock. There's a crooked plan the whole time to get the shit beat out of them with a car door and then turn it into a uh, turn it into a triple threat match. Give them more than six minutes. You're getting nineties every week. Can we uh, can we rock bottom the the lawyer? I mean, the non-existent lawyer, sure. Okay. Oh, we can't. Won't fit. All right. Ah. All right. Now we need a match. Well, we have Masco Dorado. He's not doing anything at the pay-per-view. Might as well debut him on TV. You, you just you love just doing cold debuts for no reason. Just we it's, got a body. Throw him out there. Hey, look. You flip it around. You don't know who's gonna come out. You're gonna. You're not gonna change the channel. Who is it? Who is it? Masquerade Dorado? Is it The Rock? You don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. Expand your mind. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> I mean, you told me to tell you. I don't know why you're so upset. Uh, Alright. Uh, do you want to do like a little Dorado hype video then? I mean, are we actually doing anything with him, or did we just sign him because we were like, oh, it's Vasco Dorado? I would like to see how he does before making book, a determination on that. Put him in a dark match, then. Okay, fine. Vasco Dorado, you are going to be facing... Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Maybe he's not here yet. Maybe I didn't give him a... Yeah. Opener. Oh boy. Okay. Never mind. Don't need to debut him. Well, give him a dark match anyway. You can have a dark match, but like, ye. yeah. You're, now you're probably losing your dark match. Uh, oh boy. Give him a uh, Laredo man. That should be a good lucha thing. Do we want Dorado to get a win here? I mean, you said he's an opener. Yes. And Laredo Man is more than that, so I would put Laredo Man over. Uh, I mean, it's a dark match. It doesn't super matter. Poor Dorado. Going from losing on 205 Live to losing in the Impact pre-show. Ah, oh, 205 Live, RIP. Uh, 205 Live's dead? Uh, not officially, but with... I don't know, ever since uh, NXT to USA has become official, that's like the word going around. No, RIP. Yeah. 
I mean, they're probably just going to go to to our mm-hmm. NXT, so it'll be fine. Yeah, to our NXT, move all those guys to NXT, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, okay. Probably better for them to be in the full sale arena anyway, if they're still doing it in full sale. Anyway. Uh, you know, who cares? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to watch it, so I don't care. Uh, so we should probably, like, book the Aussies matches. We kind of already did... Uh, so the only one we didn't book was the CCK Lucha Brothers one. So like, do you want to you want to just go right to a match between those two? No, but like, we we gotta set that. I was just saying like, how do we set that up? Where are we going? Like, I'm not going in order of the show. I'm going in like, okay, this is what we need to do. This show type deal. Okay. Let's do stuff that we know what we're doing first. All right. Alex Shelley and Desmond Zager. All right, great. I'm going to give them fucking main event time. I want Desmond Xavier to win when Scott Steiner interferes. I want to let you do that. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why I said that so confrontationally, but... Here we're in the box now. Can't can't go back. The greatest shooter of all time, Scott Steiner. All right. More. Uh, there's like a zero percent chance the game would have the Rock take a fall versus Joey. Yeah, I mean we could put someone. With the rock. Three way match with MJF and Janela would work, but the problem is Joey and MJF don't like to work. They're lazy. I mean they could I don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah, we'll we get mo- we'll get there. Alright. All so- right. We know we know what we're doing with Hojo and Ashley, right? I uh, assume. We do. Go for it. Oh, okay. I thought you had a plan. All right. Well, I mean, Ashley cut that promo when she was out of her mind last week. Uh, she was off her rocker. We didn't really hear from Hojo. Yeah, I imagine Hojo would have to do a return mm-hmm. on that, right? So, um, you take it. You sound like you had something. I think I think we do the same setup as the week before. We cut in on Ashley, and she's just like, you know, I really just wanted to say, once again, I'm really sorry. But, you know, we better date, double check the footage again. Because clearly she's, like, throwing to the footage again on purpose, right? Yeah. And then, like, as we're cutting away to the footage, we hear some, like, skirmish. And then, like, we quickly come back, and, like, uh, you know, Hojo is barged in, and she's, like, turned the set over. And she's, like, she has the chair that Ashley was sitting on, and she's, like, jabbing it into her throat. Oh no, she is beating her with the steering wheel that she carries around. And, oh sure. And she's just like screaming and then like the cameraman like puts the camera down and he's like, We need help over here. And like we see a bunch like, of bodies rushing. Yeah, pure chaos. Yeah. Love it. I love where this feud has gone. It makes me very happy. I mean, they have to have, like, a last woman standing match or something at the pay-per-view now, right? Or like, Oh, a, yeah. Or, like, a cage match or some shit. Uh, are we doing... Is that the third match? Is that the blow-off match? Yeah, because the Slammiversary match is uh, right. Ashley and Rebecca. Uh... You can do a street fight. Why not last woman standing? I can do that. I can do either. I, I might have an idea for that. Might. I gotta think about it. Before that, though... Um, let's see. What, what else do we know what we're doing with? Will Ospreay just learned that David Starr was behind everything. Yes. He's probably not happy. He's probably not happy. Uh, he's probably gonna cut a promo, no? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, is he going to, like, connect the dots about, like, oh, you're mad at me because 
like Eddie Edwards and stuff like that, or is he just no, like, no, no, I no, don't no. know. I, what... I, I, I think David Starr has to do that. I think Osprey okay. comes out, he's like, you know, David Starr, you get out here right now. You got to be this What are you taking me for? And then uh, David, <laughs> fuck that hurt. <laughs> David Starr can come out. Be like, look, man, it's not personal. It's just Eddie's going through some stuff. I really wanted to like get you know get him back into to this the spirit of things. I thought having you get like killed by Loki would help him out. Uh, it didn't really work that way. It's it's nothing personal. And then he's like, let's shake on it. It's water under the bridge. And then Will Osprey like slaps him in the face, and they get into a brawl. So David Starr tries to play off attempted murder. Correct. No big deal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, he, he's very much he's going to pull that. Look, it's just business, man. I, you know. You understand. You've you, had you get it. You're a worker. Like, yeah. All right. This is good. I think good. Uh, so... Let's see. Where the fuck do we go with Miroslav and EC3 now? Besides a goddamn spike on a pole match. Oh, fuck. Which I am not opposed to, by the way. Is on a pole match a thing in this game? It has to be, right? I don't know. You're the you're the TEW guy. Da, 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 da. I mean, Coal Miner's Club is basically that. Yeah, it is basically that. Uh, so it is, but we would have to take it from this and turn it into that. Because it yeah, does have right. setup pull. I mean, it's a brawl-based match. I'm pretty sure they can both brawl perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, do we want... Ooh, Miroslav wrecking EC3's house. I like that. Okay. He, uh... He, he goes into, like, his ritzy high-end condo, and he's like... Well, I don't know. He probably couldn't get into his condo. So I guess it would have to be a house. He'd be on the outside of it. He's cutting a promo where he's like, you see this? This is all that matters to EC3. He's he's just all about material things. He does not care about you, the fans. So if I if I want to get an EC3, I have to hit him where it really hurts. And then he, like, fucking kicks out his windshield and <laughs> fucking breaks his mailbox and starts just wrecking his property. So I am I'm with you. Okay. I like your first idea. Of, Ritzy high end like, condo. Ritzy high end condo. But okay. we get like handsome Rusev in a suit and like his hair is like gelled back. And he's like walking and he's like, Hello, yes, I am EC3's friend. I am here to visit the EC3. Please let me in. And like the the security guards are like, Yes, of course, sure. Like and then he goes in and just fucking roughs everything up and Then uh, he cuts that promo. Yeah. And, and is talking just, shit about, like, yeah. these people don't care about yeah. you. Like, they, they want this to happen. Yeah. They let me right in. <laughs> yeah. No one gives a shit about you or your stuff. So, yeah. All right. And then I want to do a second uh, cut to this later, where uh, it's w well after uh, Miroslav has left. And it's, Ethan Carter just walks into a wrecked condo. And then, of course, we get our class. He just falls to his knees, like, holding br pieces of, like, a broken vase or whatever. And then just, Miroslav! That's how we're ending the show. <laughs> Miroslav vandalizes EC3's condo with a spike. Oh, spike right through the 75-inch 4K TV. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. The fucking yeah. Now the HDR the isn't gonna work. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, EC 3s condo wasn't in a good uh, area anyway, so the it wasn't actually getting that, but it's fine. Um, dragging me in like oh something. <sighs> um, do you want to have Dragon Lee win another match and then? I don't know. I feel like every X Division title feud we do is just challenger wins matches and then gets Dra title shot. But Dragon Lee and Lucha Bros versus CCK. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And then let's do a, that. Have a Lucha Bro pin a CCK. Yeah. I'm down with that. 
all of this makes sense, right? Yep. Okay. That could be the main event. That could be the main event. Thinking that's our main event. All right. Smoke and drop the guard. Smoke and drop the mailbox. Uh, haven't done anything with the women's tag with the shooter. Oh, no, we did the shooters. Mm -hmm. Although they could probably use a bit of a promo, but uh, Eddie Edwards and Braxton Sutter. I mean, Eddie's just out of his mind, right? Yes. So, does he attack Braxton Sutter after a Braxton Sutter match or just backstage? I think he murders Andrew Everett. Ooh, good one. Like. Oh, is this your little friend? This is this is who you like? I'm gonna kill him. With a bat. Oh, Chad says attack Allie. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's a, that's a yeah. fucking go home show angle, not yeah. a week two angle. Oh, can we... Okay. Can we reenact throwing Andrew Everett into the crowd with Eddie Edwards? I, <laughs> Somehow. Backstage? It's going to be no, hard. Yeah. I mean, All right. then he just murders he, could, he could, like, throw him off something, I guess, but that's about it. Throws Everett around. Get it, Braxton. I think Braxton should show up at the end to like chase off Edwards. Oh yeah. Be like, you know, oh, what the hell is this? Big dog, big dog, are you okay? Big dog, no. I don't know if we could do it, Dark Alley, because Ellie's not good in the save. I mean, she she was rated appropriately uh, in the save. Uh, hey, she was good when we started. It's just now we have a yeah. Bunch it of, was like, unfortunate for her that we signed like a dozen women that were all better than her. It's a real, real tough break for her, Allie. What do we got available for our Keith Lee Destruction Tour? Ah, of course. Any of these names jumping out at? You? Uh, him tossing Frightmare around would be pretty fun. Okay. But, I mean, again, double check that he's, like, actually good in the game and stuff. Performance is strong, so he'd be alright. I'm just gonna keep looking to see if there's anyone who's jumping out to me is better. Frightmare is 36? Is that... Is in, that next right? year he will be. Is that right? I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything. I don't need Quackenbush showing up at my house. Wait. <laughs> Nick, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nick, Nick no. <laughs> I won't let you do this to the, our, our good boy. Do I want to become the biggest heel? <laughs> I, I think Keith Lee would be like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. I'm putting the dog over. <laughs> Come on in, Fright Pair. I can't believe that out of all of the people who are not in this save, that the dog is in the save. Officer Magnum's over. It'd be really funny, though, if there was Officer Magnum but no solo darling. I have to check now. Yeah. Chat, remind me. Uh, all right. Keith, right. Four minutes. Week two of Keith Lee squashes an indie wrestler that only Swarley likes. I'm sure people like Frightmare. I'm sure Frightmare has more of a following than uh, 
The other guy. Soft Killjoy. Thank hey, you. Hey, look, the ugly ducklings are over, brother. Is that another Beyond team? Uh, they're more like a Southern Indie team. Okay. So that, that, that's why they were South. available in North Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that checks out. Yeah. Your math checks out there. Yes, thank you. More geography than math, but sure. Uh, Aussies and Anime B Team. I think Anime B Team has to win more matches. I mean... Uh, they're really doing the X Divisions thing, aren't they? I mean, again, we've literally had never had them team before. I, You know what I mean? Like... I don't think they could win that one tag match and be like, we're no, we're the best now. Uh, alright. But who can they beat? Like, now they're in the territory of we're gonna beat Kaylee Ray and Rosemary. Yeah, that's not what you want. I mean, are there any local women? I mean, there were a lot of people. I mean, we could have them beat two faces. It wouldn't be the end of the world. No, it wouldn't. And people on this list would not help. No. Alrighty. We have uh, Candace and Tony Storm. Uh, I mean, we've completely given up on Tessa, right? So Tessa should probably be half of this team. Tessa and Allie. There you go. Oh, yeah. TNA. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Ah, f fuck's sake. <laughs> uh. All right. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. Well, they're, they're paying tribute to their favorite tag team of all time, Tess and Albert. Yeah, of course. God, I hope they have excellent chemistry. Please, God. Even if they... They just have not bad chemistry. Look, they even look like a little tag team. Yeah, look how happy they are. All right, fine. You won <laughs> me over. <laughs> uh, goodness. Uh, 26 minutes. Here's who we have left. Oh, Ethan. Got to book that angle. Hold on. Yep. Then we're just going to have 20 minutes. It's going to be six minutes of Ethan getting home. Guy telling him like, oh hey, your uh, your big buddy came looking for you. My big buddy? Yeah, he looked like this big, like uh, you know, like Russian type guy. Shit. <laughs> All right, good. We've done it. 20 minutes. All right. Um, we need... Uh, would you like to have the shooters go over someone so they could get a little bit of a... How about a post-match promo? Okay. With, like... Steiner uh, talking. Steiner, Steiner, Desmond. I guess Lashley. That'll at least get him on the show. Actually, just have them all out there. Yeah. And he gets cut a promo where he's like, you know, I, I've been watching Impact every week. I like to, I like what these guys are doing, but they just need a little direction. And I'm here. I'm here. I'm not a manager. I'm a coach. I'm Coach Scott. Okay. I'm a, I'm a real shooter just like these guys. We're going we're gonna to take wrestling back to its glory days. I can't wait for Coach Scott and Matt Riddle promos. Oh my god, I just realized. We are going to get some real fucking good Scott Steiner rock promos eventually. Oh, I'm just thinking about the promos he's gonna, we're going to do where it's like him and all the shooters. It's going to be him with a whiteboard and like going over strategy. All of it. All yeah. of this is great. Oh, we need to get him, we need to get him carrying a clipboard around. A headset that's not connected to anything. <laughs> okay. He could be the, the third commentator on all his people's matches and he just breaks down everything. 
But like not even as a bit, he's just really genuinely doing a great job breaking things down. <laughs> oh, Coach Scott, I didn't know I didn't know you had it in you. Oh boy. Alright, fourteen minutes. That's one good match. That's one good match. ACH should be on this show. What if we just did that ACH Rocky Romero match that was a dark match last week? Uh, what if we just put that on the show? Is Rocky alive? Or he just he's got better? It's been a week. He got thrown through a wall like a month ago. He was back for the match at the pay-per-view. He got thrown through a wall in the pay-per-view. No, it was before the pay-per-view. Oh, I thought he got thrown through a wall again at the pay-per-view. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he did, but... He got better. He got better. <laughs> we have the best medical team. Uh, I would like ACH to win this. I would also like ACH to win this. Would Rocky be okay with this? He should be. Why wouldn't he be? He's fine. He's a good brother. All right, this is definitely the main event. This is the end of the show. Uh, this is way further down the card. This is way further up the card. This can go a little further down. Hojo and Ashley needs to be up as well. What do you switch the ACH and the women's? Yes, the w women's tag has, uh, you know, second match on the card. What do you think? Um, do we want the squash match to be the opener? Let, let's open with ACH and Rocky. Let's get a, let's get a good, okay. good hot match starting us off here. A little Osprey down. Yep. This down. This seems good. End hour one with Miroslav vandalizing the condo. End hour two with... I don't even know if we have two up. Yeah, we do. End hour two with EC3 coming home. Do we Do we want to book a dark match? Besides the one we have. Yeah, the big guy probably needs a match. Chuck Taylor yeah. could use a win. Six, uh, six man, six six man, man tag. tag. Six man tag. Lucas, were you around for the the bit of Ethan yelling names at the end of every show, or no? Yeah, this this is probably the tenth time we've entered a show like this. Oh this, no, it has to be like we did it every week for three months. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's Chuck, it's been a while though. It's kind of been on ice. Chuck and Dan and Orange Cassidy. Mm-hmm. That that is the only possible third person. Uh. The big guy. His friend, uh, Emmanuel Alejandro Rodriguez. And yeah. they, they're, they're, I don't... Their good friend, Shane Strickland? Uh, Loki. Loki. Loki's their friend. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This is actually... Ah, shit. I like this match. <laughs> uh, well, if it does good, we'll put it on the show, just like we did with Rocky and ACH. All right. I would like Chuck to win. What are your thoughts? I feel like the bad guy team has to win. <laughs> okay. Especially because the, the, good, the good guy team has Dan Barry and Orange Cassidy on it. Fine. Oh, yeah, I get you, Luca. Yeah. I guess because it's like halfway into the scene that he's yelling. All right, big guy gets a win. I think it's been a while since he's won anything anyway. All right. Good Story show. Match. Storytelling match. Story to, story, yeah. Can we do, can we cheat? We can cheat. Oh my God. Oh fuck. This is a whole new world. Wow. Also, have we tried Loki and big guy as a tag team yet? I don't know. That's a good question. I would like to try that. No, we didn't know that. We have been, like, hemming and hawing over what match to give the storytelling thing to for three years in-game. All right. I'm running this show. Oh, shit. 
What did Matt Master got a fifty-eight? He's not bad. Yeah, we we should probably give him wins. He's, he's very not over. Yeah, we can manually set him to be like mid Carter, and then just book him to get wins. I mean, get... we don't have to manually set him to do anything. We can just put him on the show. I guess if if he's like a you know an opener level over, and he's getting fifty-eight, that means he's extremely good. Yes, and if we... he's extremely good, he's gonna get over. Yeah, we need to get him over. We need to get him on the show and over. Mm-hmm. Uh, this did well. Yeah, this was all right. Orange Cassidy's still getting 34s and still getting booked because I love him. Oh, but no, AEW signed him and they're going to kill the business because casual fans are going to see him and be like, Duh, I don't know, what is this? I I came here for the wrestling and they're going to they're gonna break their TVs. They're going to be so mad. Casual fans are going to be like, I still think wrestling's real in 2019. Yeah, casual fans are going to tune in and be like, this guy's funny. I like yeah. this guy. I, I don't know where this thing comes from, that casual fans like hate comedy wrestling. Yeah, they're just going to they're gonna turn in and be like, he's got his hands in his pocket. Look at yeah. him. This goof. I love him. <laughs> yeah. He did uh, a somersault roll with hands in his pockets, and his sunglasses didn't even fall off. That guy's dope. Yeah, out of all the people that my wife saw live, and she's the closest to a casual fan that I know, that she didn't already know... Uh, Orange Cassidy was the one that like definitely stood out to her. So yeah. that's my barometer. He, he's a casual. He's a casual fan magnet. He sh- he is a magnet of all fans. <laughs> uh, this got another ninety two. Yeah, this is. These are going very well. Yes. I would love to see like what Joey started at and what Joey ends at when we're done with this feud. Uh. Yeah, this was dope again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. David Starr carried the hell out of this promo. Yes. Because Osprey and Riddle were getting like 58s. That might be Riddle. I mean, neither of them are good talkers. (laughs) That was the problem. (laughs) Oh, Frightmare was worse. Oh, much worse. Oh. All right. Well, you know. Things happen. Oh, but Frightmare, I don't know. I, I disagree with this game's assessment. Frightmare's a tiny little guy. Keith Lee could have Keith Lee could have given him like a flap like a, a flapjack and thrown him into the roof. It'd have been awesome. Uh I don't know if TNA would allow that. The I, game I, did enjoy Miroslav vandalizing E three EC three's condo. Yes, I also enjoyed it. I agree, game. Yeah, this did this did okay. They didn't get a negative hit yeah i think we found a team i mean did we though i still can't believe tessa is this bad we gave her such a push we did this is gonna be the the push that uh fucking oh keith could pounce him out of the ring with the fucking uh was it like into the second row like ac and uh oh why can't i remember the fucking other guy's name was it Marco Stone? It was Marcos. Thank you. Okay. I was going to be like the little guy, knowing that there's a bunch of little guys. But you got it in one, so. The littlest guy. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Andrew Everett's dead again. <laughs> he'll get better. He's fine. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Braxton's by his side this time. He's going to be, he'll recover quick. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, this ruled. Oh, just so mad. This rolled as well. This is yeah. a, this has been great. Oh, Shelly got a bruised knee. Ah, uh, it's a bruise. It'll be all right. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he'll recover by the pay per view. Thank you, thank you, Mike. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, this, this is what, a lot better. Yeah, I was gonna say immediate improvement. <laughs> just having uh, Scott Steiner talk. And this was a bad roll. Like, we got a bad random roll on this. Steiner did poor trying to improvise dialogue. So this Yeah, will be... he always does. Sure, <laughs> but when he hits, it'll be better. Yeah. Hell nice. yeah. Pentagon, we need to talk to you about not using the top row style, top row styles clash on every show. Uh, yeah, he... I texted him about it, and uh, he texted back, and this just says uh, Puta Madre, so I don't, I don't think we got through to him. Uh, 
Must be a language barrier. Yeah. No, he understands. <laughs> Hell yeah. Miroslav. 78, we only used the rock once. Yeah, we only cheated a little bit this time. TNA rules. I'm going to clip that and use it out of context. I mean, that's fine. I'll deny I ever said it. Deep fake. <laughs> remember, when we, remember when we co-streamed Impact? Boy, it's been a while. Yeah, that was, uh, that was rough. Wait a minute. The shows weren't that bad. No, the shows weren't bad. It was the in-between. It was... It, was it was the in-between of Melissa Santos or Josh Matthews or uh, what's-his-face, the booker, sitting in front of a webcam going, Thanks! Weed fan 420 for subscribing to our Twitch channel. Or just sitting there not knowing it's going. Yeah. Oh, are we live? Tell me when we're live. All right. Bye, Davey. Uh, yep. What's the big guy? Which one this time? Phoenix again? Well, we, we have to check Alex Shelley's injury first to make sure he's not, like, dead. He's good. He's just yeah. working through it. Yeah, I figured. Keep him out of the ring a couple weeks. He should be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Big guy... Will Ospreay is too small. Fire him. Jeez, fire him is a... Find someone better. Fire him and find someone better. Uh... No. I'm, I'm going through my Rolodex of better wrestlers than Will Ospreay. I'm coming up with, like, a couple names. Not really, I don't know. Can we get Okada? <laughs> or Scott Hall. Uh, Scott Hall signed for Dragon Gate? Yes, that's what that said. Why? <laughs> now I'm curious. Who you got, Dragon Gate? Oh, Tanahashi. This just looks like the normal Dragon Gate roster. With Scott Hall. But with Scott Hall. Yeah. All right. Is Cody Hall in Dragon Gate? No. Hmm. This is this is confusing. They have Hollywood Ichikawa. Maybe they're gonna do a Dragon Gate New World Order. Is Cody Hall even in the game? He, he is. Be. He's in Noah. Alright. Uh Solo Darling. She is in the game. Oh. Well that's good. Good for her. She oh, has wow. no, no relationship with the dog. What? Who? Man. Should be best friends. Yeah. Also, ancient picture. I, yeah. Well, are you surprised based on the other picture? No, then? I'm not, but... Okay. Like, I just, I forgot that's what she used to look like. That's all. Oh, it's one of the... Okay. Uh... I'm going to get us to the show, see if anything interesting happens, and then we are going to we are going to say goodbye. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, no, we are not going to sign Road Dog. We're the bookers here. We don't need Road Dog going on Twitter and yelling at our fans. I mean, I don't know. Sounds all right. this huh okay it, it must be pretty cool to be vince mcmahon and like make really dumb decisions but know you'll have an army of people there to defend them hey that's just most business owners but yes i, I guess that's fair but yeah that, that must be sweet right to just just like no matter what dumb thing you do to have a bunch of people be like no well you, you don't get it you just don't understand the 4D yeah. chess of Vince McMahon. Yeah. You, the customer, don't understand our product. Uh, Alex Shelley's better. Oh, that's fast. Good. Oh, Juice is now muscular. Ooh. He's had a lot of time to work out <laughs> with all the lack of bookings. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll see if he's any better in the ring. Well, he, he was on the pay-per-view, so, I mean, he did get that. 
Juice is on the juice. Well, if he's on the juice, then he, he's not producing good matches. Although, yeah, I think it does affect the the higher uh, star quality. But, I don't know. He's not been good. So, I feel like we're giving him a shit ton of chances. I mean, Orange Juice is a fun tag team. All right, Lufisto. All right, three more days. Let's see if anyone interesting gets fired from WWE. That's really what we're looking for here. You're really bank. I mean, we don't need four people. No, but that's that's just what shakes things up. If we're like, hey, you want to check Randy Orton? No, we're. I think we're fine with that. No, I mean, I'm just curious to see if people are still mad at him. Now, is that is that the real Rowan? <laughs> Which one is it? Yeah. Uh, I would say they're fine because he got rehired to WWE. Oh, that's right. We tried to, like, didn't yeah. we try to sign him? And then WWE came in and was like, no, we want him. Yeah, they immediately jumped back. They're like, yeah, oh, I people are okay that. with him? Okay. I totally forgot about that. Has he had any matches back yet? I would assume so. First match back, beat Adam Cole. Hell yeah. <laughs> Suck it, internet. <laughs> or is back. Oh, that's that's so good. Oh. Now an entertainer. What was she before? Probably regular wrestler. Okay. But but unfortunately that doesn't really affect anything that I know of. Tell me if I'm wrong, chat. I was uh, just hoping you were gonna say like, oh before she was a fucking strong style expert or something. She was a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> The hundred percent boys? Is that is that a real team? It, it has to be. That seems too weird for the game to make up. Oh right, NXT has Dijak. Uh huh. Is he on their show? Like in real life, or yeah, like does he show up? Yeah. Oh okay. I just haven't heard anything about him in like six months. I mean, he's not doing much. No one in NXT does much, really. Yeah, he, like, had a decent match versus Keith Lee from what I saw. And then, like, um, mm -hmm. haven't heard I'll anything. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if he's on the, the house show loop, then you know. Last time I saw him at a house show, he wrestled one of the Chinese uh, recruits. Yeah. That seemed like it'd be a fun little, like, a showcase. It, it, for... no, no, no. Okay. No, he walked the Chinese guy through a very pedestrian match oh hmm. it, it was not just i mean it's not a tv taping it's a house show right so, so yeah he's not squashing the guy he's like trying to teach him how to work a match oh geez they had like a 10 minute this is fine kind of match like that was probably that guy's second or third match oh naomi's gone and she's at house of hardcore I'm sorry, does that say Naomi's a hoe? Uh, that's our stream, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just reading what it says on the screen. I don't know why you're getting mad at me for. Uh, so, you're still doing... I Because I saw the tweet, you're still doing your streams on Tuesday. Yes, I mean, which like, is like a week from now. Like, I can never watch, but uh, I've been catching VODs when I can, which is almost never now, but... Great. This is a great endorsement of my streams. Swirly so streams are very, very good. Uh, for the new people here, it is um, it's just Swarles now, right? Twitch.tv slash Swarles. Twitch.tv slash Swarles. I do Fire Pro streams every Tuesday, 8 o'clock Eastern. I do like a thing where people pick wrestlers and I make a card. It's like a weekly running thing. Uh, our main event, our next show, is an IWGP title match between Yokozuna and Shingo, I believe is the main event. 
Uh, and then we will have a deathmatch title match between Alistair Black and 911. So those are your big two matches. I mean, how could you not want to watch? How could you not want to watch Alistair Black and the 911 from ECW? We're going to have a exploding landmine death match. I mean, that doesn't get the people. That doesn't put butts in seats. I don't know what does. So, and that's Tuesday at 8? Tuesday at 8 o'clock Eastern, twitch.tv slash Swarls. You can also check my YouTube where all the archives go. YouTube.com slash Swarls FPR. There you go. And there is, God, what about eight years of history in that? More? Um, I don't know how much is actually on the YouTube channel. Because when I first started this, I was real bad about saving the archives. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot up there currently. Yes. I don't know how far back it goes. Uh, so definitely check that out. We generally do this on Thursdays. Wednesdays, I generally do other TW things. Uh, either myself versus the chat or just myself hanging out and streaming, depending on how much I planned. Uh, you, could, you could follow my Twitter at Let's Play TW to know what we're doing generally day of, because that's when I decide what I'm streaming. Uh, we should be back next Thursday. Or are you are you going to NXT again? Go go to a second NXT. Yeah, I just follow the loop now. Uh, okay. I'll be in Coconut Spring. No, yeah, I'll be should be good next Thursday. All right, so we should be back next Thursday. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is all we got. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Thanks again for the raid, Vita. That was a very nice of you. And uh, have a good one. Bye.